this bitch Jocelyn out here on some pimp shit. She really tried to walk this bitch like a dog. <laughs> It is your favorite, favorite Auntie Mo, and we are back for another episode review of Jocelyn's Cabaret. Y'all, this is the, we still on first season, uh, sixth episode. This is Locker Room Brawl. When I tell y'all, Jocelyn really out here walking bitches like dogs, for real. Y'all, before we get into this review, as always, church announcements. If you have not done so just yet, please subscribe to my channel. Let me know that you stopped by and then make sure your notifications are turned on. Y'all, I am tired as hell. Y'all, let me give y'all a little bit of TMI. I almost didn't put on no bra. Let me tell you though, I wasn't finna do because I came home from work. Because y'all know I do these reviews when I get out of work. And so I be tired. My day starts at 5 o'clock in the morning. So by the time I'm done and I got time for me, it's like... 7.30, 8 o'clock at night. And so I try to knock this out. So, bitch, your auntie is tired as hell. I wasn't finna put no bra on because she with the shirt. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I can, you know what I'm saying? I can make it. They won't know. Long as I don't put my hands in the air and wave them like I just don't care. Won't nobody goddamn know. But then I was like, well, you know, your auntie get animated and shit like that. You know, I want to be getting all lit. It, and I want to get too animated. My titties say, wow, knock my ass out. I can't explain that shit. So I said, for the safety of me and everybody watching, so I ain't gotta knock you out through your goddamn screen, I'm gonna go ahead and put these puppies away. You know what I'm saying? Put these dogs away. I don't need nobody walking these dogs. You know what I'm saying? We gonna thug it out. We still on our crib shit today. You know, got Cube in the house. Let's go ahead and get to this review, y'all, because I'm tired as hell. I am sleepy as shit. I am tired as hell. Hopefully, y'all are ready for this review because I'm ready to give it to you. So, let's go ahead and get right on up into it. Y'all, so it picks up with uh, Jocelyn out here walking Chelsea like a goddamn dog. She literally grabbed this hoe by her head and shut her ass down like a dog. Like if your dog pissed on the carpet and you putting their face in the piss. That's what she did to the damn girl. I mean, she literally strong-armed, strong-armed her ass. So, you know what I'm saying? Goddamn Daisy trying to help. She got Jocelyn old strong armed ass and she trying to hold her. Jocelyn's like, Daisy, let me go, Daisy. Don't do it. I'm like, Daisy, let her go. She gonna choke your goddamn ass. She holding the bitch down. Now, Zeus, you bullshitted with me because y'all cut the camera this time. Last week, you had a whole little snippet where Jocelyn starts to then walk Daisy like a dog, but on this episode, they edited, they edited that whole part out. All you saw was her literally grab Chastity and sit doggy sit in your shit on the floor is exactly what they goddamn did. Child, after that, Jocelyn and they just started fighting child instead of throwing booty, they throwing bowls in the goddamn booty club. Throwing bowls, stripper fights. <laughs> That needs to be a goddamn YouTube channel right there, stripper fights. Somebody, I just gave y'all ass a whole goddamn, uh, gave you a damn channel show idea right there. Stripper fights. There you go. You welcome. That's from your Auntie Mo. Just make sure you send me the little cut wherever you get. But child, they start goddamn fighting. The shit went crazy. She ended up firing their ass. She's sitting in her little green screen or whatever. So the producer's trying to ask Jocelyn, like, what happened? Tell your whole side of the story. Because, bitch, what well, we had heard. Jocelyn's like, mm-mm, we not going to do this. I'm not asking no questions. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. And the producer's like, well, no, I just want to ask you. But she said, look here. Next question, Tamika. I'm not playing. Stop playing with me. I shut this shit down. You won't get what you need. This bitch pulled a whole trick daddy. I guess she figured, oh, trick daddy can say fuck you to y'all and walk. I will. Bitch, I'm finna do it too. Kiss my ass. And she shut that goddamn shit down. Tamika didn't ask her nothing else. Tamika was like, no, I was there when she strong armed that last little old girl. I don't want nothing. Jocelyn is strong. The way she was holding that goddamn girl down, I was like, ooh, she gonna hurt that baby. 
So her and Ballistic end up going out to dinner. Ballistic seems like he is irritated. Is it me? I know it ain't just me. Because Color Me Pink actually put this idea in my head. Y'all, Color Me Pink is starting to become one of my favorites on goddamn YouTube. Her ass is fucking crazy. Chai, I was thinking it, but she said it out loud. And so I just really put it in from the back of my mind to the front of my mind. Because I was thinking like, damn, he kind of sexy when he upset. But I don't want to say that because I don't want nobody to be like, damn, auntie, you ratchet for real, for real. You like them old mean ass niggas like that? I don't like a mean coming at me like that. But it's something a little bit sexy about it. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, I'm getting all off subject. I was saying that to say they sitting at dinner and Ballistic sitting there angry as hell, looking like a whole snack. God damn it. He done got word about what happened at the um, strip club when she done strong armed these goddamn little girls. So he like, okay, what the hell happened? Tell me what happened. She completely downplays her part in everything. She was like, oh, um, they confronted me and they, um, um, Chastity made a statement about me getting evicted from my place. And Johnson gonna say, I mean, that's crazy. Who gets evicted? Who would get evicted when your rent is only like $4,000 a month? I said, bitch, what? Who would? $4,000 a month? Bitch, what? I'd probably get evicted. I'm just saying. I mean, when that bitch said that, I said $4,000. God damn, that's a lot of goddamn rents. Shit, no. She tells Ballistic that she politely grabbed Chastity and placed her on the ground like a dog. He said, no, nah, it wasn't nothing polite about the way you goddamn did that shit. I already know, bitch. And it wasn't nothing polite about the way that you goddamn did that goddamn girl. Y'all, I'm sorry. I'm putting Vaseline on my hands. I love me some goddamn Vaseline. I done told y'all that before. If you ain't got Vaseline in your house, <laughs> it's something wrong with you. Baby, I got the smoothest elbows and feet. Round this motherfucker. I wish you goddamn would. And then I like to put on Vaseline and socks. Oh, my feet is soft as a baby's ass. Soft as a baby's ass. Justin says she got a problem with girls who think they cuter than what they really are. I'm thinking to myself, Justin, you know I rocks with you, but I wouldn't be your homegirl if I wasn't truthfully bitching. What is you? Cause there's some, there's some 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 folks would say you don't necessarily resemble somebody your goddamn self like I, I don't i don't like that jocelyn talk did she really used to be a madam in a former life or something i know she used to be a toot or whatever she was a 304 she done said it before she was a 304 before yes she was and she used to be in them flicks and pornos and shit like that don't ask me how i know i just know that but she used to be in that shit or something too. Something, but she's got this madam pimp mentality. She pimping these girls. She is pimping these goddamn girls and it's coming out. The way she tried to walk that dog, that was some pimp shit. Pimp shit try to walk bitches like that. I'm just saying. I try to walk my bitches like that. Just playing. <laughs> just to say. These hoes can't come for me if you ain't even got a dental plan. I ain't bitch, but I tell you that shit made me goddamn kiki so fucking hard. I feel it though. Bitch, don't come for me if my Aetna plan ain't sent for you. Yeah, bitch, you. Ballistic says next time he needs to be there. Now, the reason why he wasn't there, because you know he was there first when they was filming the little video. He says he had to go leave to pick up the little one, meaning Bonnie Bella. She was adamant that she wanted him to go and pick up her little girl. So he had to go and pick up the little girl. He said that's the reason why he wasn't there. Because basically she was trying to say, well, you wasn't there, so blah, blah, blah. He was like, well, yeah, I had to go and leave and pick up your baby. He said, I told you I wanted to wait. But you were persistent that you wanted me to go and go ahead and pick her up. So that's what the hell I went and gone and goddamn did. So don't try to make it seem like I wasn't here doing what the fuck I was supposed to be goddamn doing. She like, no, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. And he was like, well, good. Good. I'm glad. Oh, well, he was just getting upset. I was like, yes. Get on that bitch ballistic. She wrong as hell. She said later on she ought to go talk to um Day. I mean not Daisy. Um Lucky J and Sapphire, because they don't know about the fight, or she thinks that they don't know about the fight that went on. So she has to meet up with them later on, let them know that Daisy and Chastity are out of the cabaret, 
whoop de whoop and all this other bullshit. So Lucky and Sapphire meet up and they're waiting for Jocelyn to come because they are um, having some drinks or whatever, right? Side note, Sapphire boots were bomb. I love me a good thigh high boot, baby. Yes, I give me some boots on these thick little thighs, girl. I love them goddamn boots that she had on. They sitting out there, they drinking. They said they left early to go smoke. That's why they wasn't there when the whole fight went down, right? But they heard about it because they ended up getting a phone call, right? So they sitting back, they drinking and they kicking it. Finally, Jocelyn ends up showing up. About four or five drinks later, she shows up. Shows up with a wife beater on and she got this little energy about her. Now when she shows up, she's in a good mood. Like she hugs them like um, Lucky's in a good mood, Sapphire's in a good mood. They just talking about, you know, anticipating the whole cabaret bullshit, right? So Jocelyn is like, uh, I need y'all to have a drink because I got to let y'all know everything that went down. It went crazy. Shit went left, blah, 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 right? So they're like, okay, well, tell us what's going on. Jocelyn is once again downplaying her complete role in everything. Like, I didn't do nothing wrong. It was all them. You know, they they got an attitude with me. They confronted me. And next thing you know, I grabbed that bitch Chastity and I politely threw her down. And I started walking that bitch like a motherfucking dog. Walking that bitch like a dog. Then she jokes how she got both Daisy and Chastity's head and clinked them holes together like on some goddamn Tiny Tunes and some shit. She joking and laughing about it, right? Just then, Sapphire is like, well, dang, I know that's crazy. I feel like this is something off of a movie because when we got a phone call, we was like, what? What the hell happened? And Lucky looks at Sapphire. She's like, right, we got that call. It was crazy. Jocelyn says, well, what did they say? Lucky starts to say, well, Daisy was saying that this and this and this happened. And Chastity said this and this and this happened. And you can see Jocelyn go from cool, kicking back Jocelyn to being that bitch pissed off. Like, what the fuck you talking about? What the fuck you say? Blah, 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 blah. She was getting pissed off because Lucky was telling her, what Chastity and Daisy were saying about her as it pertains to the fight. Number one, bitch, you asked her. You asked her what happened and she told you. Secondly, she ain't telling you what she thought, what she had heard, what she had thought had happened, her opinion, none of that. She is repeating exactly what they are saying happened to them from their point of view. Johnson gets pissed off at Lucky. Now, what I thought was funny, Johnson didn't get pissed off with Sapphire. Sapphire was the one that brought it up, though. She was the initial one that brought it up about the phone call. She didn't ask Sapphire about what they said. Well, she asked in general. She was like, what they say, and Lucky started explaining it. My whole thing is this. Why she didn't direct that storm, the same heat and energy that she had at Lucky and Daisy that she do at Sapphire. Is it because Sapphire may be a little bit older than her? Is it because Sapphire, when it comes to match up pound for pound, Sapphire's right there with that hoe? I wonder that. Y'all, if y'all seen this, y'all comment down below and let me know. Does it seem like she don't have that same energy with Sapphire like she do with Lucky and Daisy and Chastity and Jay? Now, with Lucky, Lucky not the type of bitch that's going to fight, that's be all out here and ratchet. Even though she says she likes to fight, I don't doubt that. You know, hey. Anybody with a little ratchet in them like to scrap up here now and then. But she not the type that's going to be loud and wild and crazy and all that and the other. And I think Jocelyn sees that weakness and that vulnerability in her. She already thinks she's better than, than, than Chastity and Daisy as it is. And then she thinks that, you know, she can be a mother and groom Jay and Lucky. But with Sapphire, I don't see her having that same energy. Because like I said, pound for pound... <laughs> you talking about cakes. Now, Sapphire's the one that got that old ignorant ass. That girl ass is like, damn, God. How do you get your ass all the way clean when you wipe it? I don't want to know that. I don't want to know that because that's a whole lot, a whole lot, a whole lot of ass. But she didn't have that same goddamn energy with Sapphire, right? Next thing you know, Jocelyn starts telling Lucky it ain't a game. It's not a joke and it's not fucking funny. I don't see why you laughing. It's not funny. 
Lucky is like, look, I'm not saying it is funny. You asked me, I'm telling you what they said. Like, I don't see what the issue is, what the problem is. She was like, well, my problem is I don't need you coming and telling me what them hoes said about me. I don't need none of that. Lucky is like, well, I'm just simply telling you how the situation is, what had happened, whoop de whoop yada, yada, yada. Johnson is now pissed off, but she's like, well, you know what I think? What I think I need to do is I need to get some new girls because Sapphire, Sapphire once again asked her. So are we continuing to do this? Uh, what are we going to do? Are we going to get some new girls or what? Johnson was like, yep, you sure right. I think I do need to get some new girls. Yep, mm-hmm. Lucky then tries to hold up a drink. All right, so hopefully this will be cheers to new money. She tries to cheers Jocelyn. Jocelyn don't want to cheers. That bitch is like... I had to drink some water, too. That's when I went and did that. They like, oh, okay, bitch, you don't want to clink, clink? You don't want to clink, clink? Okay, cool. It is what it is. Jocelyn then tells him, okay, well, I'm going to go up and let y'all get y'all a little bit of shine because for some of y'all, you only get one day. As she's walking off, she's talking shit about Lucky. This I'm going to give these hoes this minute to shine because I'm, I'm going to be done with these hoes, especially Lucky. She says she wants to take Lucky head off. She want to do this and this and this to this bitch because she ain't had no business coming back and telling her what they said. First of all, bitch, you asked her. Just like if you would have came and asked me what they said, bitch, I'd have told you too what they goddamn said if they'd have told me. That's that on that because of that. And then number two, why you ain't got that same energy with Sapphire, sis? Because you already know, like I said, pound for pound, ten toes down. That hoe can stand there and rock with your ass. I bet she won't get sideways like that with Sapphire. Y'all, so they end up getting pissed off after Jocelyn leaves and is talking shit. They get pissed off. Lucky's like, I don't even know what the fuck the problem is. Sapphire's the same. I don't know what the fuck the problem was, but, uh... The bitch ain't had no attitude with me. Personally, you see what she direct that shit, so I'm just gonna leave this goddamn shit alone. But like I said, Lucky not no scrapping ass type of girl like that. I don't even see why Jocelyn came on her sideways like that. That girl didn't do nothing wrong. She didn't do a fucking thing wrong. And if anything, um, Lucky's the one that's been the most in Jocelyn's corner this whole damn time. It's been her. Ain't been really complaining about shit. Just been there, been there showing up. And you want to snap on her for what? For what, bitch? For what? But y'all, the episode pretty much ends from there. They end up leaving out of there. And they um supposedly is going to talk with Jocelyn on the next episode. They end up getting into it. Now, Zeus, y'all done cut out some shit already. Are y'all going to keep that part in? Or, or what is we doing? What is we goddamn doing? But anyway, y'all, that was Jocelyn's Cabaret. Y'all already know if it was anything that I missed, drop it down below and let me know. Please make sure you are following me on my socials as well. It's all in the description box. Auntie Momo underscore 512. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And your Auntie Mo will see y'all in the next video. Peace out.